Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission San Juan Bautista. Okay, on the left hand side, two fingers, and I'm going to put a dot. And on the right hand side, two fingers, and I'm going to put a dot. And from the dot on the left, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line towards the left. Go back to the dot. Wavy, wavy line to the edge. Come back on the right hand side, we're going to do the same thing. Wavy, wavy line to the edge. Go back to the dot. Wavy, wavy, wavy line to the edge of the paper. Right in between these two spaces, I draw a slightly wavy line to the other one on the right. And right here on the left, I'm going to draw a line, a wavy line, and now I'm going to draw it again on the left. I come on the right, I'm going to draw a wavy line to the edge of the paper. Now I'm going to draw it again. And in between here, I'm going to draw little straight lines. All the way up on the left and all the way up on the right. Now this mission is going to have a lot of overlaps and a lot of floating lines. So if I don't close something, it's because it's not supposed to be closed yet. On the left hand side, I draw one, two, three, four, five little curved lines. And on the right, I draw one, two, three, four, five little curved lines. I come back to the left and I draw a curved line, one, two, three, connect. Curve line 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 one, two, three, connect. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same on the right. Curve line one, two, three, connect. 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 And if you can fit that last one in, connect. I come back to the left. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line as far in as I can. Bam, it crashes right there. Leave it alone. Come up to the, uh, the top of that line. Draw me a straight line over. Straight line down. Connect. Come up. A little bit on a straight line, come over, come down until bam, you crash into that, jump over, straight line, connect. Right above, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight line. I put a dot on top and I draw a straight diagonal down from the left. Straight diagonal down on the right, little straight line on the left, little straight line connect, little straight line on the right, little straight line connect. Now I come over to the right hand side and I put a dot. And on the right hand side I go towards the left, curve line out, curve line down, go back to the dot. Curve line out, curve line down. Come back to the left. We're going to go curve line out, curve line out, connect on the left. Come down and do a curve line out on the right. Curve line, curve line all the way down, 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 bam, until it crashes into something else and just leave it there. I am now going to come back to the left, and if I can, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over. These are the overlap, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to come up to the top in the center, and I'm going to draw a straight line across. And then I'm going to make a box, a rectangle, one, two, three, four straight lines. And I'm going to fill this in with one two straight lines, one, 
two, three straight lines at the top. At the very center, I'm going to go straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Then I'm going to go straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, connect. On the left, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, connect. On the right, I come up to this section and I just draw little straight lines all the way up to the center all the way down on the right. I come all the way down to the center and I'm going to draw one curved line. Then I'm going to mimic it, draw another curved line all the way down. Inside I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and a straight line in the middle, two little straight lines, one, two. Right next to it, I draw a straight line up, curve line over, and I'm going to draw that again, straight line up, curve line over. This is on the left, now I'm going to do it on the right, straight line up, curve line over, mimic that line again, straight line up, curve line over. I'm going to attach these two sections with two little straight lines on the left, two little straight lines on the right. <clears throat> now I'm going to, starting here at the left, I'm going to draw a curved line and to the side I'm going to draw a big straight line, little straight line. I'm going to move over now to this section on the right and I'm going to draw one, two straight lines and then I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect. Then I'm going to draw one, two straight lines on the right, one, two straight lines on the left. I come down and I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect, straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect. Now I'm going to draw two lines on the left, jump over, two lines in the center, jump over, two lines on the right. I come up to the top space and I draw a straight line in a triangle, straight line in a triangle on the left, straight line in a triangle on the right. Now this has trees, so starting over here on the left, I'm just going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line down, bam, don't draw through your picture, wavy, wavy line down. Right next to it I'll make another one, if you can fit in a third one, go for it. And on the right hand side I can barely put one in but I'm just going to go wavy wavy line, connect. Okay I think that's everything. Let's see how we're going to color this one in. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is color the inside of my doorways with a peach. If you don't have peach just use a light brown. I'm going to color this part of the garden peach this part on the left and the right, and this whole big section in the center, I'm going to do peach. If you don't have peach, you can do a light brown. Now the entryway, this part, this circle right here, this should be gray, if you've got gray. And my doors should be brown. My roof should be brown. The eaves, these little squares, these hold up the roof, these should be brown. Let's see what else. I think that's pretty much for that brown. Then my flowers, because that's what these are, should be red. You can do them whatever colors, but I did mine red and yellow just to give a pop of color. So these can be red and yellow. Okay. And then my little brickway, I made a different color brown. These can be a darker brown if you have one but I just got through my crayon box and got a different colored brown. That goes all the way around. And now the greens. My bush should be green, this should be green, my tree should be green, these should all be green, and these are my bells. These should be green also. Okay? Let me see if that's everything. If you want to use a lighter green to kind of break up the greens, that's good too. Doesn't matter. Oh! forgot my background. Sky, 
turquoise blue. Now this one's kind of complicated because there's so many things going on. So take it slow, watch the video once all the way through so you know what you're doing, and then go for it. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Uh-oh, forgot the cross. Over here on the right-hand side, straight line, straight line. Now we're ready to see it looking all completed. Here's Mission San Juan Batista. Um, as you can see, the garden is very important. Okay, bye-bye.